Well, welcome back in. Once again, Matt George and I are here at Vivid Arena in Salt Lake City. And Matt, let's start off with the good news. The good news, the Kings had four representatives in All-Star Weekend. Keegan Murray and the Rising Stars, Kevin Herter in a three-point shootout, and then today, Demonis Sabonis and De'Aaron Fox in the All-Star Game. So that was the good news. You know, we had four representatives, Matt. The bad news, neither one of them really had a big impact in their respective event throughout the weekend. So, you know, it's kind of bittersweet having the representation, but then again, they kind of really didn't show up. Yeah, if you were looking for fireworks from the Kings, you were disappointed. <laughs> but the most important part is the representation of the Kings, having four or five starters uh, represented, considering Sacramento's used to having zero players period here unless it's in the rising stars game when they have one of their draft picks that was high up hopefully going to invent to something or amount to something and of course keegan murray is so to see the kings plastered all over this weekend was really exciting uh, and it's really encouraging to know that at least they're getting the recognition that they deserve and in reality like this is a showcase i would have liked to see De'Aaron fox show his speed off a little bit more i would like to see flashy dunks i would like to see demon sabonis get a triple double or keegan go off from three same with kevin herter the reality is this doesn't matter what happens over these final 20 or so games over these last couple months that's what matters and if they save some energy in these three days to help propel themselves to a successful uh, rest of the season that's a happy trade I'll make. And it's funny you say that because De'Aaron, one of the things that he said during his post-game presser, uh, which you guys heard, was that he was like, the game is over with. I'm going back to Sacramento. Time to focus on the rest of the season. Yep. Of course, the All-Star event, All-Star Weekend, it's fun. It's festive for the fans and for the players. But at the end of the day, the playoffs is the real goal or objective at the end of the day, which is where De'Aaron is trying to get to. And it's important to note, Mike Brown has this team practicing on Tuesday. So there's no rest for the wicked. They're right back to work. I'm sure Mike Brown would not have been happy with the defense played in not this game. All. Or should I say the lack thereof? But, uh, Mac, you know, as I look back on this weekend, you know, we, we got here Thursday. We pretty much got to see everything from beginning literally to end right now. And looking back, you know, I have to say that it was really exciting, not just for us as media members, but just seeing the fans interact with the players and just the overall experience and spectacle that is All-Star Weekend. Absolutely. Well, you brought up the fans. I saw more Kings fans here than I was expecting yes. to see. And that's not a slight about Kings fans. Y'all were everywhere, and y'all are fantastic. <laughs> it was fun to meet you and, and chat with a lot of you. But the experience of getting to go to the University of Utah, which is where they had all the media availability, to be in a room where, sure, we're talking to De'Aaron and DeMontis and Kevin, guys that we talk to all the time, but then you turn your head and 10 feet away is Kevin Durant. You turn your head <laughs> the other way, 10 feet away is Damian Lillard. Like, And then to watch, like to be in the same room with this amount of collective talent, not to mention like Allen Iverson courtside, Carmelo Anthony courtside, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Carl Malone, John Stockton. I mean, it's just, it's there's legends all in one building. So when you take a step back from the actual competition and look at what we were able to do it's a dream come true and Matt you know when he was describing uh when Matt was just describing all the celebrities here he left out a big celebrity that I have to say he was happy to see tonight Post Malone oh, yeah. actually performed him and 21 Savage performed during the pregame concert which was really cool for the feds as well oh uh, it's really cool for me forget the fans it's <laughs> cool for me it was definitely enjoyable all the way around and obviously for anyone who's paid attention to the NBA or has watched all-star weekend throughout the years really understands that this is for the fans and about the fans, so it was really cool. Matt, we only have about 20 seconds left. What was your favorite part of the weekend? Oh, man, uh, just being here and be sharing it with a lot of Sacramento media uh, and having a great teammate like Luke back at the studio to be able to cover for us so that we could experience this. Well, Matt, it was great sharing it with you as well, and like he said, we have Luke there in the studio, so let's send it back to our MVP, Luke Cleary. <laughs>